head of household, uh, and the qualified surviving spouse, and so on. Also remember the primary thing that pushes people over from taking the standard deduction to itemized deduction is the ownership of a home because ownership of the home typically comes with a loan, a mortgage, which comes with mortgage interest, which might be deductible as an itemized deduction as well as related property taxes, which are a form of state and local taxes, which also could be deductible for itemized deductions. We're talking about taxes here Taxes can be confusing because you might be thinking, hey, look, I'm calculating the federal income tax, which is the primary tax that pays the federal government to pay for things like the military. Therefore, you would think that I would not be able to deduct federal income taxes when calculating federal income taxes because yeah, well, that would result in a circle reference. And that's typically the case. We can't really deduct federal income taxes when calculating federal income taxes. But what about state and local taxes are those things uh, that can be deductible. Now, remember the general rule that's often violated with the itemized deductions for an income tax would be, I should be able to deduct, deduct those things that helped me to generate revenue. And we can see that most clearly on a Schedule C type of business, a Schedule C form for a business, because you have income minus expenses, business deductions resulting in net income. It makes sense to tax the net income, not the gross income, because you needed to expend those expenditures in order to generate the revenue. Uh, however, on the Schedule A, we often have these kind of weird things where we get to deduct things even though they're not business uh, expenses. We saw that with the medical expenses. You can see that with like charitable deductions and whatnot. These are things that the government decided we should be able to deduct for reasons other than just the collecting of revenue to pay the military and then stay out of our business uh, type of thing. And taxes kind of fall into that uh, area as well on the state and local taxes. It doesn't really make sense. It kind of seems like they shouldn't be getting into deducting state and local taxes uh, on the Schedule A unless they were business type of deductions, possibly. And, and the reason is because the federal government is kind of influencing how the states act. And you could see if you look at the past, some states have been subsidized through federal taxes and they tend to, you know, they, they tend to, to increase their, their taxes, right? Because anything that's subsidized uh, tends to kind of go up. So states that have high taxes, you could see that happening. And uh, they also influence the format that the states can tax. So they used, the federal government could say, they used to say, we'll allow the state income tax as a deduction. But what if some states don't want to use an income tax, they want to use a sales tax. Well, then the government has to say, well, now we're gonna include the use of a sales tax as something that we can deduct on the Schedule A. And you can see how the back and forth happens and gets kind of complicated when we think about the types of things that might be deductible on the Schedule A for taxes. So here's a general overview. So taxes you paid, taxes uh, you can't deduct. So federal income and most excise taxes. So clearly you can't deduct the federal income taxes for your own federal tax return. That would result in a circle reference. You can't deduct social security, Medicare, federal unemployment, FUTA and railroad retirement, RRTA. So notice that the social security, Medicare, these are FUTA tax and, and FUTA, which is like a payroll tax. These are taxes that are, that are kind of payroll taxes and you could say, well, that's not the income tax. It's separate from the income tax. Can I deduct those for uh, federal income taxes, not on the Schedule A? Now, if you're an employer employee situation, can you deduct the employee part of the, the Social Security and Medicare? That's a different issue, right? If you're, if you're, if you're, if, if you're self-employed, can you deduct half of the Social Security and Medicare for self-employed? 